From the world of music to the world of film and television is not an easy move. These musicians, however, perform both flawlessly. While some performers, like Queen Latifah, Will Smith, and LL Cool J, are routinely booked and busy, sometimes appearing artists like Q-Tip and Andre 3000 completely outperform them. In this episode we gathered up a list of the top 20 best rappers, who are now also acting as well, have made guest appearances in some films or acted in some films. Time to earn your stripes, Nelson. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a gangster by the toe. Rearrange the numbers, yo. Early years are first to go. What are you doing? I think... 1. Chad Bow Wow Moss. Bow Wow started performing almost as soon as he started rapping. His first appearances were in the hit 90s sitcom Moesha and Carmen, a hip hopera. His first leading role was in Like Mike, although he went on to have successful careers in other films like Roll Bounds, Johnson Family Vacation, and CSI, Cyber. It's the last time, Frank. It's the last time to kill somebody. Yeah. It's the last Two, time. Tupac Shakur. Despite having a brief life, Tupac had a significant impact. His debut performance was as the ambitious bishop in the coming-of-age movie Juice. Later, he portrayed a detective in gang-related, displayed a softer side in poetic justice, and made a cameo appearance on A Different World. What he would have accomplished if he were still alive is beyond our comprehension. He's really funny. I'm not impressed by that. Much? Get ready for the sexiest comedy of the year. Body movement is my specialty. Hey, girl. 3. LL Cool J Although he has played Sam Hanna on NCIS, Los Angeles for well over 10 years, the Queen's native was a popular hunk in the love stories deliver us from Eva and Last Holiday. But our particular favorites from LL are the preaching chef in Deep Blue Sea, Ray Bud Slocum in Kingdom Come, and Marion Hill in In the House. Yes. 4. Queen Latifah The only queen we recognize is this one. With her breakthrough performance as Cleo in Set It Off, you knew she would be a permanent fixture in the game. She later appeared in Living Single as Khadija James and has since displayed her wide talent in movies like The Secret Life of Bees, Life Support, Just Right, Beauty Shop, and TV shows like Star and Single Ladies. She can now be seen every week on The Equalizer. Five, Snoop Dogg. Since the beginning, Snoop D-O-double-G has been a renaissance dog. We all agree that he is one of the best rappers ever. However, he also works as a producer, business owner, football coach, and many other things. His first significant part was in Training Day as a paraplegic crack dealer, where Denzel Washington beats him senseless. In the Starsky and Hutch revival, he portrays Huggy Bear. Additionally, he appeared in Harmony Corrine's The Beach Bum in 2019 as a pimp version of himself. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my client, <laughs> Mr. William Ryan, has been railroaded by his colleagues, his board of directors, and in fact, the U.S. Attorney's Office. He's escaped. He's escaped. Six, Method Man. Method Man has recently been seen plotting and succeeding on the popular spin-off, Power Book 2, Ghost. Check out a few episodes of The Wire, Oz, How High, The Breaks, and Rebel if you want to see more of The New Yorker. Just being real, lying to have sex is just part of the game. Things have changed, Ben. Not that much. Everybody's lying in the club. Trust me no. on that. Jenna is accusing her uncle, the dentist, of raping her? This is why I don't trust dentists. 7. Ice-T. Ice-T is a longevity expert. Although Detective Tutwola on Law & Order, SVU has been his most successful role for the past 20 years. His breakthrough role was in the classic crime thriller New Jack City. This man just may be tough enough. Now get! Both of y'all get! No, you really got away with kids. Now she's fine. This might not be a good idea. Rain, electricity... Oh, but I sure do appreciate it. 8. Ice Cube As Doughboy in Boys and the Hood, Ice Cube entered the acting world prepared to leave an impression. He was known as Fudge in higher learning and was a brilliant, brave fifth-year senior who was always prepared to defend his own. 
The humorous Friday that followed quickly led to him receiving his first directing credit with 1998's The Players Club. Although Ice Cube is best recognized for his comedic abilities, we're looking forward to seeing him in more serious roles like the upcoming April 29, 1992 and Flint Strong. Came up, I got a handle. So we're gonna have to put a, our trip on hold. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. That's cool. Just, just for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm, I understand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little longer. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Look, I'll, I'll call you next week and we'll iron out the details, okay? Yeah, yeah. It was great seeing you, son. You too, Lou. Coming in with a hard slap is Will Smith at number nine. The former Fresh Prince has become one of the biggest movie stars in the world and a box office hit. Though his acting career has been more successful than any other rapper who has forayed into acting, his rapping resume isn't quite as impressive as, say, Ice Cubes. Smith received two Best Actor Academy Award nominations for his roles in Ollie and the Pursuit of Happiness. He is also one of the all-time biggest movie stars. What's your name, baby girl? Georgia. Georgia. You know you say this, black man. Yeah. Now you gotta be as grateful. You hurt him pretty bad, huh? I got shot twice. You got to ask the dude you shot and killed my boy to do. Mm. Yes. Ten, Common. In comparison to his peers, Common entered the acting world a little later. However, he has developed into a force on film. He has advanced quickly from little TV appearances to acting alongside stars like Denzel Washington, Keanu Reeves, and Christian Bale, to mention a few. The Chi City product still raps and is well known for both his performances and, as of late, his acting. You got jokes, don't you? What you doing driving a cab anyway? Your English too good. I'm trying to stay out of trouble, that's what I'm doing. 7 2, what's going on, Millennium? I left Millennium today. What? Yeah. What, so Simon owe you some money or something? Uh, nothing like that, man. We ain't hang out a window or no shit, man. You know what? This whole taxi cab confession thing, we don't really got to do. You can just keep driving. Hey, not a problem. Call me, not a problem at all. 11. Mo's Def. During the 1990s, Mo's Def was widely known. On You Take the Kids and the Cosby Mysteries, he has recurrent parts that only gave his acting career a major boost. In addition to Carmen, a hip opera, Brown Sugar, Civil Brand, and Something the Lord Made, the rapper has also acted. In Cadillac Records, he also portrayed the legendary rock and roll pioneer Chuck Berry. Rich. Rich. Wake up. Sorry, but they're asking for the pro courses. What time is it? It's uh, 342. Look, I know we're coming at this backwards, but we can't commit to a firm launch date with this many unknowns. 12. Donald Glover slash Childish Gambino. This is one artist who established himself as who he was right away. Childish Gambino was the source of all musical endeavors, and Donald Glover was the face of all TV and film. Glover always delivers entertainment, whether it's in 30 Rock, Community, or Atlanta. Did you see any white people in there waiting an hour and 32 minutes for a plate of spaghetti? Huh? And how many cups of coffee did we get? You don't drink coffee, and I didn't want any. Man, that woman in there poured cup after cup to every single white person around us, but did she even ask you if you wanted any? We didn't get any coffee that you didn't want and I didn't order, and that's evidence of racial discrimination. Did you notice that our waitress was black? And black women don't think in stereotypes? You tell me something, man. When was the last time 13. You met ludicrous. If you've been watching the Fast and Furious movies, you probably already know and adore Luda as the clever yet sharp Tedge. But it's time to broaden your horizons if you haven't seen him in the acclaimed movie Crash or as the lovable protector in New Year's Eve. Thanks. 
flat feet up, bitch. Lucky you got your mamas. 14. 50 Cent We know 50 is a film and television executive, but when he played Marcus in Get Rich or Die Tryin', we realized he had the range. He presently has a prominent part on ABC's For Life as Cassius Dawkins. His big breakout role was his position on Power as Canon. Hank Moody, what's up, nigga? <laughs> then I'll be hitting on my girl. I'm not your girl, Calvin. Ooh, Calvin? Just playing, baby. What you doing here, man? You should be at Starbucks writing me some funny shit. Some funny quotable shit, too, nigga. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. I, I, I don't think I can do it. What the fuck you talking about, man? What, they ain't paying you enough? No, no, it's not the money. I just don't want to. What, because I'm black? No, it's not because you're black. I love the... 15. RZA RZA has directed three films, including Cutthroat City, Love Beats Rhymes, and The Man with the Iron Fists. He is not only a skilled performer. The member of the Wu-Tang Clan previously appeared in recurrent parts on the television shows Gang Related and Californication, and now you can also see him in Nobody and Minions, The Rise of Gru. Can we please go home now? Sit here. Let me break this down to you. You gotta kick the language as if you got it going on. You know, like with the program. Like a Microsoft Word program on my computer? No, man, listen to me. You. 16. Kid N Play. When the rap combo appeared on television together in Class Act and House Party, they gave off the impression of being a fun and funny combination. Play, Christopher Martin, most recently made an appearance on the sitcom Church Folks, while Kid, Christopher Reed, later went on to have a recurring part on Sister, Sister. However, they will reconvene as Kid and play in the television series Scroll Wheel of Time, which is about an up-and-coming rap duo from Atlanta who are handed an old-school iPod that is actually a time-traveling device. Gregory, don't worry, but I've got them. They're my people, and if they're not buying, they're walking. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> nice color. Yeah, if you puffy. Headroom, get it? <laughs> Yo! Headroom. This is it. 17. DMX. The hardcore rap successor to Tupac and the notorious B.I.G. was DMX. His quick rise to fame was actually about a decade in the making, giving him time to cultivate the theatrical presence that made him one of rap's most recognizable figures in his prime. In addition to playing a key supporting part in Romeo Must Die, he starred in Belly. After that, he starred in Exit Wounds, which made its box office debut at number one. I don't understand, man, what's going on, man? I'm just here chilling, like, you see us without people, me and my men's like, what's going on? Why is we being pro Juwan. 18. Busta Rhymes. Busta Bust has been in a dozen movies and provided his distinctive voice for characters in the Rugrats movie and the Boondocks. Although he makes a remarkable performance in Shaft alongside Christian Bale and Samuel L. Jackson, his best finding Forrester scenes are when he is paired with Sean Connery. Come on. No. I can't do this no more. Do what? This, us, this game. Well, I ain't playing games, baby. Let's just move on. So what, you, you just gonna break up with me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're breaking up with me. <laughs> I mean, come on, baby. I mean, look at you. You, you ain't even all that fine. I mean, you, you just average. What? I didn't mind at first because you was good in bed. You do that thing. But, you know, I can find better. I didn't mean that. See, I want you. 19. Eve. In the 2002 film Barbershop, Eve played the spunky Barbara Terry in her debut appearance. She began with smaller roles before her 2003 to 2006 sitcom of the same name debuted. She played Terry once more in the Barbershop sequels, and most recently, she co-starred with Brandy in the hip-hop drama Queens. What? You know what you did. 
No, you don't know who you fucking with. Where's Bobby? What the hiding, fuck Jerry? is wrong with you? Huh? What are you hiding? I found huh? you. Last but definitely not least is the hip hop sensation. Outcast. Outcast members, Andre 3000 and Big Boy, both achieved great success for themselves after going solo. Big Boy participated in ATL, the most recent Creepshow revival, and American Soul, while Andre appeared in Four Brothers, American Crime, and Dispatches from Elsewhere. Who's your favorite rapper turned actor? Comment below. And watch this next video.